Hey there, Disney Glam fam, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jossum, AKA Awesome Jossum, and I wanna thank you for clicking on my video. On this channel, we like to celebrate Disney, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if you like any or all of those things, consider bippity boppity bopping that subscribe button, jingle jangle the bells of notification so you're instantaneously notified when I post something new, and please leave a big old thumbs up at the end of this video if you liked it all the way through. Now today I am so excited because it is one day closer to Christmas and another beautiful day of Vlogmas. I'm so excited because yesterday I was surprised with another knock on my door. Honestly, I should know because like people don't really visit me at my home. I usually go and meet people different places, but there's a knock at my door. It either means Amazon is here or another package that I wasn't really expecting. Lo and behold, <laughs> Jesus, this showed up at my door. So yes, we're gonna be doing another unboxing. Now, this package was so graciously delivered by one of my absolutely amazing friends, Shelby, AKA Bibbidi Bruner. And I had no idea this was on its way. Apparently, her and Ashley were scheming behind my back to create something so special for me. Now, Shelby is a newer friend of mine here in the Disney community, and I absolutely love her. Like, honestly, she has been nothing but the cutest little Southern bubble that you have ever met. She is exactly like me. She loves glitz, she loves color, she loves makeup, she loves Disney. Honestly, we are so alike and it is so exciting to meet more people in this community that you share so much in common with. Now, Shelby has her own amazing channel and I highly encourage you guys to go down in the description box and check her out because I will definitely link her channel down in the description box below. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into this mystery magic mail that my beautiful Shelby decided to send to me. Okay, this thing is absolutely ginormous. It is very heavy. Um, and I would show you the front, but it has some beautiful Disney stickers. There's one of Pluto eating a holiday bone with a beautiful big red bow. You have the Fab Five singing Christmas carols, goofy, clumsily walking and holding all the gifts in a like tower. And of course you have Minnie Mouse with a beautiful and thoughtful gift. Also, she wrapped around the box with this like holiday North Pole Express mail like packing paper and it is so stinking cute. So let me go ahead and cut in and I'll be right back. I have to show you guys this. Oh my gosh. So look, it is covered with foozles and green paper. And we have a beautiful card stuck right on top that says, let your heart be Lumos. Ooh, is this a hint as to what's inside? She knows I am a Harry Potter stan and she knows I am in the Slytherin house. So let's go ahead and take a look. It says, Jossum, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for being my friend. I just wanted to send you a Christmas present. Read the clues before opening. Wishing you the merriest Christmas, Bibbidi Bruner. Shelby, you were so stinking sweet. You really did not have to do this. I appreciate you so much in my life. Your friendship has been nothing but the absolute best. Also, side note, you guys need to know that Shelby's mom is also my new favorite because I was watching her on a live and literally she is hilarious. I'm gonna go ahead and start a petition that we need another Bibbidi Bruner ex Bruner mama, Mama Bruner. Yeah, Mama Bruner on the channel because literally she is absolutely everything. And I'm gonna have to do like a full on cosplay of Prince one day for her because I know that that is her man and I am gonna be her imaginary man for a day. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Thank you so much, Shelby. Let me go ahead and dive right in. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Guys, she told me, she's like, oh, it's nothing really. Um, you don't have to open it on camera. I just want you to enjoy all the presents inside. Nothing really? You have a freaking box filled with gifts here. I'm literally shook right now. <sighs> that sounded so catty. Shelby, I'm so happy for this. I absolutely am excited to dive right in, but you didn't have to, and watch out, girl, because something is coming her way. Okay, so I'm gonna start um, with the first gift that was sitting on top. So right here we have this super cute Christmas paper with red and green and white stripes, and it says late night reading in the restricted section, question mark. 
Ooh, okay, these are definitely Harry Potter themed and I'm so excited because as Shelby knows, um, I'm like a newfound lover of Harry Potter and we both connected on that um, in some of our conversations. What is this? Oh my goodness. This is so cool. So she got me this clip reading light and it is in the shape of a golden snitch. Are you kidding me? This is so freaking cool. Let me see if I can pull it out to show you guys. Take a look at that. That is so freaking cool. So there's a spot down here that I have to put some uh, AAA batteries, but it is a little reading light and it is of the Golden Snitch. This is perfect because recently I got a few new books to my collection and this is gonna be great when I'm in bed reading before the evening. Thank you so much. This is so thoughtful and so stinking cool. Plus, this can double as like decor. So if I ever do like the Harry Potter background, I can kind of just set this up there and it looks like a golden snitch. So cool. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Okay, so next up we have another gift. And honestly, guys, I'm literally dying at the wrapping paper. Look at this. This paper has all these different chickens all over with their holiday headgear and it says peck the halls. Shelby, this is something that I would only expect from you to send me from Kentucky. That is hilarious. All right, let's go right in. Oh my God, what the heck? This is so freaking cool. So it's a potions bottle and it says potions bottle light. So we have another like illuminated piece of decor. This is so freaking amazing. Okay, so definitely I'm gonna need to create like a Harry Potter themed background one month. Um, and this is definitely going front and center on top. Thank you so much. This is so cool and so unique. I'm so, so, so excited to display this. Next up, we have another gift here and it says back to school photo shoot question mark Ooh, it's a little squishy so it feels like maybe it could be an article of clothing or something and I'm guessing with the clue that it might be like a wearable of some sort so let's dive in and see oh my goodness are you kidding me this is freaking hilarious <gasps> I actually really really love this oh yes okay so she has gifted me this super cool and unique purse and it's of that oh my god i'm such a fake stan i don't even remember it's that monster like book that has like teeth i know what it is because i've seen it in the wizarding wizarding we're not going back to this Justin. we're not going back to this in the wizarding world of harry potter at universal and of course it was in the movies too oh my god i cannot remember if you guys know the name of this little like spider book thing monster let me know down in the comment section below and you can roast me because honestly I'm a fake fan, anywho. So she gave me this super cool like side satchel bag. And this is actually perfect for the parts because when I go, I like to either take like a small backpack or like a miniature bag that I can keep uh, just my essentials in. Um, but this is so stinking cool and I can't wait to rock this in the parks. Thank you so much. <gasps> oh my God, it's Daniel Nicole. Shelby, a Daniel Nicole? Are you kidding me? What? Thank you so much, Shelby. Honestly, you really didn't have to do this. And now I'm just like, uh, why? You're so sweet. Thank you. So thoughtful. All right, so next up, this one is very heavy. And again, it's in my favorite wrapping paper from her. It's called Peck the Halls. Um, and the clue says, all set for a trip to Hogwarts. What could we use to be all set to a trip for Hogwarts? Let's go ahead and see. Shelby, you done already sent me a book bag for my birthday. And now you're gifting me another? What the heck, girl? You're so sweet. And this is absolutely stunning. I am in love with the color story of this super cute bag. On the front, you're gonna have like this gingham pattern with a sky blue. There's a soft like goldish cream color, some white, and of course this nice rich chocolate brown. This is gonna be perfect for styling with any sort of outfits that I bring to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there's kind of like a little crest of the different houses and it says Hogwarts. It's too, too small even if I bring it into the camera. And at the top, you can see in, at the top you can see an imprint of Hogwarts and stars and it says, 
Hogwarts, the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. This is so amazing. Thank you so much. And it feels heavy, so there must be something inside. Not something, some things, because Shelby is extra. Oh my God, are you kidding me right now? So Shelby literally is the best. She gifted me some amazing little trinkets inside the bag. So I'm gonna show you one by one. The first one is of this Castle Babe pin. And this is so beautiful. It's super unique. So it is a depiction of the night sky and you can see Hogwarts in the background. And at the very top, you see the car that Ron and Harry that Ron and Harry hijacked to get to Hogwarts because they missed the train at the train station. They are some crazy kids. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm gonna need to figure out how I can showcase these pins because more and more I have been recently like acquiring pins. Now I'm not a huge pin collector, but if people gift me pins, that's a different story because it's so thoughtful and sentimental and I like keeping them because it reminds me of the swap, of the person, and of course just the sentiment behind it. This is so cool, thank you so much. And plus it's Harry Potter, so this can definitely be like a decorative piece. Uh, maybe I should get like a little pin board that I can put on a photo frame stand and just have them all pinned. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, this is so cool too. So this says, Happy Christmas. And it is of the Hogwarts Castle at either Universal Studios Orlando or uh, California. But it is in its Christmas best. It's filled with holiday decor and the lights and the trees. This is so cool. And I actually may be going to Universal Studios on Christmas Eve, so I definitely can wear this. Thank you so much. Ooh, next up we've got some more amazing house pins. Now these miniature pins are phenomenal because when I go to the park, I actually like to embellish my facial covering. Since now this is a new accessory. So I like to embellish my facial covering with some different little like blingage. And these are so amazing. They definitely can be applied there. So on the top, we have a silver Slytherin with a green rhinestone. We have the S logo with the word Slytherin down the middle. And we have a wax seal uh, enamel pin and it actually has the Hogwarts crest. So that is so freaking cool. Thank you so, so much. And if that wasn't enough, there's still more. So inside here, let's see, we got some more pins. Ooh, okay. I actually really, really love this pin. So this says Riddle. This is from animangusco.com. Wow, these are some new small shops that I actually never knew existed because, I, again, I'm recently new into Harry Potter, so I haven't really dived into the small shops of um, Harry Potter or even Disney in that matter. But this is an absolutely beautiful pin. So you have Tom Riddle's book with, um, oh my God, is that the Basilisk Tooth? I think that's a depiction of the basilisk tooth back in there. And it has like this sil, not silver, like a green glittery ribbon across the front that says riddle. So this is a perfect rendition of like a Slytherin house and Tom Riddle inspired pen. Super, super cool. I actually really love the way this one looks. Oh yes, of course she knows, Bay knows that I am a Slytherin. So she got me this amazing, again, from the animanguisco.com. I'm gonna have to check them out. I'll leave them linked down in the description box below. Um, but she got me this amazing pin with a depiction of the Slytherin snake. We have um, the necklace. Which one is this one? Is it the neck? Where is that from? Oh my god, I feel so dumb. Anyway, it's a it's a necklace, and on the front it says Slytherin again in that green glittery like ribbon across the front. That is so so cool. Thank you so much. There's still more inside. There's still more inside. There Shelby, I'm done. Okay, because apparently you decided to spoil me rotten, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Thank you so much. Ugh. All of this was more than enough, and there's still more. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Let me take it out of the package so you guys can see. So she gifted me 
this really beautiful journal. It has a vinyl depiction of the Slytherin snake on the front. It's like this nice gray tweed fabric. This is so beautiful. I am definitely a stationary person, so I love having journals to write down my thoughts and ideas and different ideas for YouTube versus Instagram. Also, I like to keep track of like my bills because your boy needs to stay on track with the budget. Um, so I definitely use so many journals to do that. Thank you so much. This is really great and it's perfect for this time of year because I like to get brand new stationery at the beginning of the year. <gasps> This is so cool. Oh my gosh. That is that is awesome. This is so cool. I love useful items. Look, I'm a Disney lover just like all of you guys. And it is so easy to get swept up into all of these different fandoms where you start buying and collecting all of these sort of things. And I'm trying to be more intentional with my spending. So if it's something that I'm gonna buy, it needs to be like useful or essential or just something that's really gonna spark excitement. Yes, I know, don't come for me in the comments because Jim Shorts and Funkos are little things that just sit. But in my defense, they're also home decor. <laughs> no, so this is an actual power bank and it has the Deathly Hollows, um, what do you call that? Like logo on the front, it has the skull with the snake. Um, this is really, really cool. And it's perfect because it's gonna be great for my park bags, especially when I go to Universal. I always like to bring a backup charger because your boy is living that social media life. Um, so this is really, really cool. Thank you so much. All right, so we have, oh, this is super cute. It says Sugar Quill Lollipop. That is absolutely amazing. And it looks like a feather with a little ink at the bottom of the lollipop stick. This is really cool because I actually did a review of Honey Duke's Sweets and Treats, which I'll leave linked up above and down in my description box below um, from all of the different things at the actual theme park. So this is unique and exciting and I love lollipops. So this is super cool. Awesome, okay, so now we're at the base of the bag and it has two different attachments for the actual backpack. So it looks like you can create a backpack look on it because you have the hardware on the side here and here and you also have some up here. So you can create a, you know, over the shoulder bag, you can create a backpack, it has two sets of straps. This is such a unique bag, I am so excited to utilize this. Thank you so much Shelby once more. This was so thoughtful, so generous, and I cannot wait to rock this in the park. All right, last but not least, it says, the sorting hat says that you are, dot, 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 question mark. Well, the sorting hat already knows I'm a Slytherin. Listen, I have took the Pottermore quiz three times just to confirm it because when I first was introduced to Harry Potter and the idea of being sorted into a house, I of course wanted to be Gryffindor, like who wants to be the bad guy in Slytherin? It wasn't until I took the quiz three times and then read up on exactly the characteristics of Slytherin and I was like, well, the results are in, your boy is a Slytherin, and honestly, it does make a lot of sense. So I am a proud Slytherin now, but let's go ahead and see what is inside. Shelby! Oh my god, oh my god, Shelby, are you kidding me? <gasps> Shelby, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my god, guys, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Compose yourself, Jocelyn, compose yourself. Oh my god, hands down, favorite thing in the box today. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, this is so cool, Shelby. <gasps> I don't know if you knew this. I don't remember saying this in our messages or anything, but literally, I have been wanting this chalice for the longest. Okay, well it's not really the longest. It was maybe like a month ago when I saw it on someone's unboxing. This is so cool. Guys, this is a beautiful like chalice and it is of the Slytherin house, of course, because I'm a Slytherin and it has the crest on top, the actual logo of Slytherin. It is encrusted in these super beautiful, like bright green gems. It has this nice metal, like silver top and a silver lining on the inside. This is beautiful. This is stunning. It makes me feel like a bat. <laughs> Shelby, 
You are so sweet and so thoughtful to have sent me this box of goodies. I truly appreciate it. I am wishing you and your family the very most Merry Christmas and of course the happiest of New Year's. I cannot wait until the day we have the opportunity of hanging out and meeting in person because I know you're just gonna be an absolute ray of sunshine. Thank you so much for your thought and your generosity today. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section below what house are you in and what was your favorite item from the super thoughtful magic and merry mail that Shelby sent to me today. As always, friends, I want to thank you so much for watching. Stay beautiful, but most importantly, have a magical day. Bye. <laughs>